Fray Alvin, Fray Johnny, and Fray Amiel. At the start, I have to tell you that even before God created the sun, the moon, and the stars, even before God created the mountains and the hills and the seas, even before God created the first man and woman, even before St. Augustine Church was built, God already knew that you three would be ordained deacons on the 22nd of May, 2021, and not any other day. You thought it was April 5th, but it would not be so. And don't blame COVID for it. Rather, open yourself to the Lord and say, this is all part of God's plan. From the beginning of time, even when you enter the seminary, God already knew that on this day, the 22nd of May, the Feast of Santa Rita, you will receive ordination to the diaconate. <clears throat> it is not coincidence. No one gets ordained without the hand of God guiding. And when an ordination is postponed from our human reckoning, from our human understanding, it is still the hand of God that guides us. It is the hand of God. Sa Tagalog, Tadhana. Sa Tagalog, guhit ng palad. Nakaguhit sa palad ninyo ang May 22, 2021. Kung papaanong nakaukit din sa palad ko na ako mag ordain sa inyo sa araw ding ito. Guhit ng palad ninyo, guhit din ang palad ko Nakaguhit ang pangalan ninyo sa palad ng Diyos. Your names, your dates are written on the palm of God's hand. Anong nakaguhit sa palad ninyo? Nakaguhit sa palad ninyo na hahawakan ninyo ang aklat ng Ebanghelyo. It has been written on the palm of your hands that you will hold the gospel, that what you hold with your hands, you will preach with your lips. What you preach with your lips, you will live in your lives. Guhit ng palad na ang palad ninyo ay magtuturo. Guhit ng palad na ang palad ninyo ay hahawak sa mabuting balita. Hindi lahat ng tao pwedeng humawak. Kayo, pinagkakatiwalaan ng mabuting balita ni Jesus. As you hold the gospel book with hands that are not worthy, let those hands travel to your heart. Let your heart connect you to your brain let your brain and your heart and your hand link you up to God's people because the people are thirsting for the gospel. Guhit ng palad ninyo na ang ebanghelyo ay masulat. Isinulat ni San Juan, Mateo, Marcos at Lucas. Ngayon, iguguhit ninyo ang kwento ni Jesus sa pamamagitan ng inyong buhay. It is destiny, tadhana, that with your hands, you will write the gospel. With your lives, you will prove that the gospel is powerful. The gospel is alive. The, the word of God is powerful because the word of God has changed your life. Guhit ng palad na... Ang palad ninyo ay humawak sa palanggana, sa tuwalya, at sa tubig. 
mga tanda ng paglilingkod. The basin, the towel, and the water. You are deacons. And you will hold with your hands the symbols of service because your first vocation is to wash the feet of your brothers and sisters. Wash the feet literally. Wash the feet also figuratively. Serve. Serve like the Lord. There is no one who will continue it if you will not. The Lord calls you today to be deacons, to be servants. We do not need lords. We do not need masters. We need servants. We do not need career people. We need servants. And nakaguhit sa palad ninyo, nahahawa kayo ng tubig pampalinis, hawa-hawa kayo ng palanggana para saluhin ang marumi. Hahawa kayo ng tuwalya upang pahirin ang aming luha in order to restore to us the joy of being disciples of the Lord. Guhit ng palad na kayo ay maging tagapagturo ng Ebanghelyo. Guhit ng palad na kayo ay magpapakain sa may hirap, maguhugas ng paa ng inyong mga kapatid. Pero tandaan ninyo, ang guhit ng palad ay mayroong pang tadhana na naghihintay. Ang guhit ng palad ay mabubuo lamang kapag may sugat na yung palad at nakapako sa krus, katulad ng kauna-unahang diyakono, ang ating Panginoong Heso Kristo. When God called you, come follow me. God actually meant, come and die with me. Guhit ng palad, May 22nd. Guhit ng palad, to hold the gospel. Guhit ng palad to wash the feet of your brothers and sisters. Guhit ng palad that those palms, those hands will be pierced through. That your chest will be pierced by the sword. And they will look at you whom they have pierced, whom they have nailed also. And when that happens, you just say, Lord, thank you. Lord, thank you for the destiny to be killed for you. Lord, thank you for the destiny to die for you. Lord, thank you. My life is not even enough to pay for my own sins. What can I say but thank you, Lord? Guhit ng palad ko. Guhit din ang palad ninyo nakaguhit sa palad ng Diyos. Take care of the gospel. Hold it not only with your hands. Hold it with your life. Take care of the water and the basin and the towel. Wash. Serve. Give. Without counting the cost. And when that time comes, when we could not read anymore what is written on your palms, because those palms have been pierced by the nails of the martyrdom of Diakonia, then we just say, Alleluia, the battle is over, the victory is won. We do not know what lies ahead. The priesthood, the mission, we do not know what lies ahead. But just keep in mind, my dear brothers, everything happens as part of God's plan. If you say your yes to the Lord, 
and allow the Lord to guide your hand. Ang guhit ng palad ng Diyos, ang guhit ng palad ninyo, kapag pinagsama, kapag pinagtagpo, wala nang ibang mas mabuti pa kaysa doon. It can only be the best for you when you allow the pierced hand of the Lord to guide your pierced hand. Take courage. I pray that at the sunset of your life, the same Lord who told you, Come follow me, I have written your names on the palms of my hands, will be the same Lord who will say to you, Where are your wounds? You have been wounded in ministry. Welcome to the house of the Father.